Hey, wait, wait, wait a minute. What's going on here? Babel, are you okay? You moron! Oh, fuck me. The two of you are twins. No wonder you kept winning. When I started a race with one of you, the other was already at the finish line. Look at him, Babel. His brain finally caught up to his legs. You don't know when to stop, do you? Wait. We're not bad people, okay? I mean, we're probably not all that good either, but my point is... Everyone does what they do best, right? And this is just what we're good at. We tried to do other things, you know? Things we were not very good at. And we ended up getting in debt. Serious debt. And now we have to pay it. So you scam people? Nobody gets hurt. We're not bandits. Listen, what if we gave you back your wager and forgot about the whole thing, huh? I don't know, man. I can't blame anyone but myself. Should have seen you idiots coming a mile away. Just keep the damn money and get lost. <laughs> really? Yeah, really. Now get lost before I change my mind. You numbskull! You had to let those biters catch you, didn't you? What, you think I did that on purpose? Give me a break. Dang, nothing? Huh? <sighs> 
Skin off. Holy crap, my health. I don't like how enemies spawn in. I wish it was like the first game. I think the first game had very minimal spawning. It's just that uh, it spawns the area. And if you extract them, it just pulls in the nearby zombie. Instead of spawning ones in the area whenever you... Uh, I'm pretty sure that's how it worked. Maybe. Or I should say, that's how it felt like it worked. Hey, Hankel, I'm at the monument. You were right. Not much left of it. Good. Look closely. There is much more to it than meets the eye. Uh, there's a plaque here. Oof, a lot of names on it. Are those the victims of a massacre? Yes, 64 names. Things were starting to get pretty bad outside the walls around then. And the army needed more weapons. So they confiscated the civilians' weapons. Private ownership of any sort of firearm and its ammunition was forbidden thereafter. What happened here? That is where the How riot started. People were terrified. How could they protect themselves? How do you know what he was families? looking at? There was massive unrest. So a curfew was put in place. And homes were raided to ensure no one was hiding any weapons. Punishment for those who didn't comply was quite severe. Shots were fired. The army started shooting at people. Panic broke out. And of course, things only got worse. The riots escalated. It was the beginning of the end. Light the candle. Inhibitor container detected. So you're saying that Pratt made a bad call, taking people's guns away? Hard to know for sure, but it didn't end well for anyone. In fact, the main irony <laughs> is that the army soon ran out of ammunition. And just like that, firearms became obsolete. At least, that's what's generally believed to have happened. Now you'll hear some folks claim that Pratt kept a secret stash of ammunition somewhere in the city. But if so, he took that secret to the grave. So I guess we'll never really know. And that's the thing about history. We rarely ever really know. It's not a hard science. History is fragile as the passing of time. 
It takes the vigilance of people like myself to make sure it's not rewritten to suit the whim of each new generation's self-righteous fight. The duty of remembrance. Everyone should practice it. Farewell now, Pilgrim. I hope this little trip down memory lane has illuminated your path. Well, there's nothing that takes me down there. What the hell? Those guys were level 9 and took barely any damage. What the hell? Why? Again, this game makes no sense. Why did those things exist? Why did they just spawn in zombies that takes no damage? From max level gear with max level upgrades with huh The climbing is so bad. Maybe this is why they uh, give you a freaking zip hook, grapple hook like Batman later on in the game. Because God, is it terrible. How's the leg? Uh, no better. 
but it'll heal eventually. Oh, fantastic. Something wrong? I had a chance to meet the bandits you mentioned before. They said that you'd plan on cheating Dodger after all. Okay, the cat's out of the bag. But look, it was only gonna be just this once. Dodger would never find out. Why would you steal from a man who's giving you work? Look, I'm living by the skin of my teeth here. I thought just this once I'd pretend he gave me a bum lead and take the whole stash. Maybe get a little ahead for once. And the bandits? I figured an ambush would sell the story better. Didn't expect them to turn on me. But then, I'm an idiot, aren't I? Seems like it. Trusting a group of thugs like them. That's what you get for being greedy. I wasn't being greedy. Just... Just desperate. Now I got a busted leg and don't know when I can work again. What happened to them anyway? Well, they tried to kill me, but didn't. Whew. Uh, and, and, and the goods? Did you reach them? I got everything. I'm begging you, don't tell Dodger. If you do, you'll ruin me. Please, d take what you have to him. Tell him I'll be back in business as soon as my leg heals. I'll think it over. Come on, man. Without work, I'll starve. And you'll I won't die. even think about doing it again. I, I swear. Don't make me laugh. You think I'd take your word for anything after this? Uh, believe me, I, I learned my lesson. I'll never do uh -huh. anything like that again. We'll see. That's a lot of people. Yeah, this is not good anymore, huh? Should have known he'd try to get back at us. I'm sorry? Julian sold us flour mixed with plaster once. And Luke complained to Carl. I guess this is Julian's revenge. Julian didn't do it, Bevan. It was Marco, his supplier. He, um, well, he's paid for what he did. Marco's dead. Who cares? Won't help Luke now. 
runs out. I want to be alone. PK and civilian alike. Did you do it? Did you find the music box? Yes, and I've come to give it back to you. But I said you could keep it for saving my life. A and I mean what I say. Oh, I believe you. But the way you keep humming the tune from this music box, it seems you'd be happier if you had it back. So, it would have a better home with you than with me. Well, maybe. I have had it forever. Thank you, Aiden. You're welcome, my lady. So there are randos keep winning all the challenges now. There's three feet. Oh, like being stole. Aiden, what you got for me? I found these filters for one. Okay, not setting my world on fire, but I can move those for a nice profit. How about these? A bottle of cognac and a box of cigars. Now that's what I'm talking about. You see? I knew there'd be something valuable at that military base. You see that, Urban? Can I sniff out the good shit or what? <laughs> Kick ass. Uh, speaking of asses, what was Hubie's deal? Is he trying to duck out on me? Hubert was gonna steal from you. You fucking what? I was gonna say you'd given him a bum lead and take the goods for himself. Hired a gang to make the story more believable, but they turned on him. They broke his leg. You don't say. <laughs> You're one cold bastard. I like you. <laughs> what? And half-assed Hubie. Well, you know what they say. Trust in God. But break your camel's legs, just in case. Couldn't hug. What? Hey, this psycho works for you? Well, two solutions are better than one. You wanted to kill me? No, who said anything about killing? I just told Klaus to get the loot. He can be a little overeager at times. You jackass! Oh, come on, don't pout. Look at Klaus. He's not mad about you killing his friends. It's natural selection. You proved yourself stronger than them. You came in handy after all. I didn't know how to get to Hubi, but then you showed up. I waited until you were gone and paid him a visit. What did you do to him? He was in terrible pain because of that broken leg. So I broke the other one. For balance. That's what happens when you try to screw Dodger. I guess, but isn't that a bit extreme? Well, he won't be gazelling across the rooftops anymore, but he's still got a shot at a pro arm wrestling career. But he insisted that I turn the stash over to you. So, once a cheat, always a cheat. Agreed. Duralex said Lex. The times we live in are ruthless, and the law must be so too. He's already learned his lesson. He said he wouldn't do it again. Right. Any idea how many people half-assed has conned? People who are also just trying to get by. Who have families to feed. He's been asking exactly. for trouble for a long time. He got what he deserved. And he won't scam anyone ever again. Remember, rules are rules. With the whole world collapsing, we need them more than ever. Without them, we'd be no better than a pack of rats. Did you call this following the rules? Your rules? He won't get away with this. Carl will hear the whole story. Carl? He won't dare touch me. I know too much about him. I know too much about everyone. Even Lucas respected me. Who do you think is behind his death? Barney? Sophie? <laughs> Barney and Sophie are just a pair of kids playing in a sandbox that's too big for them. On the other hand, they are really fucked up. You never know what might pop up in their heads. I know one thing, though. Curiosity killed the cat. Yeah, thanks for your concern, but I don't need it. Feisty, I like it. I saw the potential in you from the start. But I had to...
to figure out who I'm really dealing with. Next time, find yourself another patsy. Feisty, I like it. We'll meet again, Aiden. Aiden's a terrible character. <laughs> uh, well, I should say that um, he is a hypocrite. I mean, he, he told him with knowing the fact that the other guy was going to die. I mean, it's either he knows that, went through with it anyways, and then regretted his decision and completely did a 180, or, or he's a hypocrite. Oh, well, here you go. My precious mink. Oh, you oh, are truly sent I'm just from above. Baffled. Lola is complete once more. You deserve a reward. Do you wish Lola to reward you with a song? No. Um, no thanks. I, I really gotta be going. How sad. How I wish to serenade my conquering hero. You deserve a more proper reward than a song anyway. Take this with Lola's deepest gratitude. <laughs> Thanks. Aiden! Aiden, tell him! What's going on? Bevan's husband is dead. Julian's been accused of murdering him by poisoning his water. Aiden, please, tell them it wasn't me. Julian is innocent. A viral fell into a supplier's storage tub. The guy drunkenly sold Julian contaminated water. It, it wasn't a murder. You'd swear to that before the Bazaar Council? Yeah. Where's that supplier? He's going to stand trial in- Marco is dead. I, I, I killed him. And my job here is done. It's okay. I forgive you. That scum Marco got what he deserved. Thank you, Aiden. Half of my flower is yours. Yeah, the flower mixed with plaster. Huh? Uh, no. Where'd you hear that? Oh, yeah, so once, but, yeah, you know, it... Yeah, keep the plaster. Just pay me and we'll be even. All right. I'll tell Bevan what happened. Yeah, Bevan already knows. It, it's better if you stay away. in the city and then this horrible fear overwhelms me thank you for bringing lola her mink my dear boy thank you for bringing lola her mink my dear boy a pilgrim in the bazaar okay Let's go. If I were him, DLC story quest. Running the streets at night. Damn. It's hard enough. Not the one who killed him, I think. Look, what I'm not even thinking. thinking. I've you never seen care. someone botch a job you so badly in my me. life. Maybe I thought I could trust problem. them. You they couldn't have screwed it up more than you did. Maybe there's women out there. The first tournament in three years. The fuck was in our rations today? I feel bloated as a goon. Oh God.
Why can I sell some and not others? It's really weird. Maybe some of them are from like... <laughs> Some of them are from quests. And you can't sell quest items. superhuman it's hard enough on the rooftops you wanted to see me remember Tetsuo here still hasn't come to you know who did this to him Skullface Chiro is gonna end up like this I don't think he'll make it to the final. That means he might have a broken back or brain damage. You don't care, do you? I don't. But you're his father. That's why he won't listen. Wouldn't be here if he did. That means he wants this. Bad or good. Shit on what he wants. He can't fight like he thinks. He's fast but stupid. He just wants you to be proud of him. I don't want to be proud. I just want him alive! I just want him to live. <sighs> if I did help, what would I have to do? Shiro's in the qualifying round for Carnage Hall. Roofed up on the Waterside Way. And only one winner. I want you to go there and beat him. <laughs> Is that all? Then what? Then you win. Chiro's eliminated. He won't go back after that. I have to think here. I mean, what is there to think? If Chiro is your friend, you won't let him die. <coughs> Rooftop on the waterside way in the central loop. Make the right choice, kid. Hold on, old friend. You still have fire inside.
Do me a favor and kick Skullface's ass, please. Advance the plot. Advance the plot. All right. We're advancing the plot, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for plot advancing? What is this? Another chest? I don't care. Never anything good in those. Ooh, what a massive jump. into this.
sexy bandits. Oh, and a lot of bodies. Sophie, I'm sorry. I knew it! I knew those motherfuckers would betray us. Fuck them, Aiden. Kill them all! We got them! I thought the thingy press F when looking at the menu from above. That's what I did. Gotcha, you piece of shit. <laughs> Excuse me. I made it. There are no survivors. Fucking animals. Find the crystals. Susie had them. Susie? Carl. They took Carl. What? Where? <sighs> to their camp. We, we must... Susie? Susie, where are the crystals? Susie? Sophie, I found Susie. She's dead. I can't believe it. First Birdie, now her. Damn. Damn. Damn! There's nothing you could have done. No. Except that I sent them there. Joe's men have kidnapped Carl. I don't see these crystals. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking. What? The goon. Huge, ugly motherfucker. He's slow. Just be careful. Search the other bodies, Aiden. Maybe the crystals are still there. Love that crit. Search it. Everything's been taken. Probably took them before you got there. Everything has gone wrong. All right. Nice. Enough of this playing defense. Let's meet by Jack and Joe's camp on the roof by the overpass. We're gonna go after Carl and our crystals. Jack and Joe will pay for this shit show. Appreciate it, but don't get your hopes up. Not the marrying kind. Learn anything about the commander's murder? I heard Sophie's brother mention something about Lucas's death. That's all so far. Now they have a bigger problem. The bandits you mentioned? They took Carl hostage. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm helping Sophie get him back. Good. Gain her trust. That might also help us find out what they know. Just watch out. They might be suspicious, but if you can do it, Ato will let us into the center. I could go back and no. Right here. Hmm. 
Hey, Herman. Uh, where's Sophie? Uh, hey, why weren't you on the mission? Friends could have used you. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I guess that means I should wait here. Uh. Oh, good. More of this. Joe will pay for what they did. I had a bad feeling about it from the start. I had a feeling Carl's plan sucked, and yet I let him lead. Why didn't you send Herman on the mission? They wouldn't have stood a chance against that beast. Him? He's strong, but as helpless as a child. It's one damn big child. You don't understand. Herman's almost deaf. He used to be my mother's bodyguard. Has been around us as long as I can remember. And after she died, he stayed close to us. One time, the lights in my shelter went out. The infected broke through a window. Herman blocked the path and tossed a grenade into a nearby infected. He survived the explosion, but lost his hearing. In a face-to-face -face battle, he's nearly unbeatable. But if he's caught from behind, He's as vulnerable as a child. A killer combination, especially for him. That's why I prefer to keep an eye on him. Sometimes I wonder if he's watching over me, or I'm watching over him. Nice, right, so what's the plan now? From now on, I'm following my gut. Last time something like this happens on my watch. If you'd hurried back there, maybe some of our guys would have made it. I thought a pilgrim like you was supposed to run like a fucking gazelle. Barney, shut up! What? If he'd have made it in time to help, we'd be having a party. Not a wake. In case you change your mind. He can be a real pain in the ass. But we'll do something good for the city one day. to your help. If you manage to take out those bandits, it... Jack Cock and Joe Cunt. You think killing Monsieur's Cock and Cunt will change something? Death usually changes a lot in a person's life. Carl was wrong. We should have gone after them right away. But right or wrong, we have to help him. He's one of us. We'll rescue him and retrieve the crystals from Jack and Joe. Besides, I won't let them get away with killing my people. Ralph, Susie, Logan, Birdie, they deserve revenge. And Jack and Joe sentenced them to death. So they'll die. Your radio. Yeah, it picks up static sometimes. Go see Alberto. He can fix stuff like that on the spot. Thanks. Hey, it's all here. Leave, but make sure no one sees you. You two make a pretty pair, Aiden. I'm on the roof nearby. We have to talk. Now. It's about saving your life. I'll tear them apart. I swear. I'll gut them. Real slow. 
piece by piece. <laughs> I've heard everything. Let's talk. <laughs> what do you want? I don't like what's going on here, Aiden. First Jack and Joe's bandits killed Carl's people. Now Sophie's getting ready to retaliate. You're not a part of that, are you? But you said you wanted me to get close to them. I'm gonna search Sophie's camp. That's why I came to warn you. Rumors have started. You found the Lazarus for me. They may suspect you of being a PK spy. You came here just to warn me? You helped me with the Lazarus. And I take care of my allies. Sophie's just fighting for water, that's all. I don't think she suspects anything. <laughs> you think so? She hates the peacekeepers. She blames us for not helping the bazaar. And for her mother's death. So when we start questioning her people, you better be careful. Thanks for the warning. You gain any intel for our investigation? Sophie's also wondering who killed Lucas. What else would she say? They know if we can prove they killed Lucas, it'll be a bloodbath. Find out from Sophie when she's planning the attack. Keep me informed where you are. Be careful. Don't trust the people of the bazaar. They're more dangerous. Than... Oh, okay. Than they seem. It's time for it. Looks like Sophie's not here. I, I think I we must, for. must be Dad, it's still early. Pilgrim! <laughs> that thing! There is uh, uh, one Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh yes, she went uh, she said the uh she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait! There's more. One more thing. Something's wrong with... Uh, uh, not working with the... Uh, it's broken. That... Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden, how do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Oh, yes. Vincenzo! Sure. Why? I'm not listening Dad, to I'm asking because I'm curious. He annoys me. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone. To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids because of those fucking tests. I hope he's alive and that you find him someday.
you came to find out if I have a boyfriend? I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? Did you take care of Barney today? That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. Herman, it's better for the world when you're quiet. Looking for something? But I got what you need. Oh, it's our brave fucking pilgrim. Been looking for you. Drink up. Cheers. No. Uh, my throat's sore. Don't want you to catch anything. I'm on fucking touchable the nastiest plagues can kiss my fucking ass <laughs> hey did you get your radio checked by that dumbass alberto <laughs> that kook can't ever finish a sentence he starts <laughs> must have a brain made of swiss cheese show some respect humphrey alberto's a genius with weapons and armor what's your big skill farting into a harmonica and calling him music Hey, you mangy pricks! Say your prayers! Barney's coming! And he's gonna kick your dairy ears! Okay. I'll rip out your brains! Then your hearts! I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan! I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your health! I love you! What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We've been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. And he led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. She said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I understand my mother. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? Um... My stories aren't important right now. Uh, I understand. I don't tell mine, you won't tell yours. Okay? It's not like that. It isn't? Yeah, mine's an old story. It still has more questions without answers. Is that why you became a pilgrim? To find those answers? Because you sure don't look like a criminal. At least not to me. Yeah, well, that's because you don't know me. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker we do this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. <laughs> 